up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me down, but Just it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> all right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Ben. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out for me. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nurmagomedov. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Beautiful body kick. Oh, 
beautiful slip and counter there by Numago. Oh, single collar tie here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots for the body. Look at the angle of that nice body. That punch will work right through the door. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, he heard a bell with jab. Over and over, he landed some big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Very bad. Single collar tie now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nurmago Medov gets the tie clinch here. Oh, big punch lands. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nurmago Medov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. Okay, round two, ready? You ready? Let's go for it. Good stick. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Big body kick lands. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Nice body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and both guys really throwing with authority. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Lands flush with that right hand. 
Magomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice straight punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Back and forth we go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Great punch landing with so much power. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big head kick lands. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. job of following with his hips, making sure he's blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some... Oh, man, look at that one body shot. That shows the power. He's out! It's over! It's over! What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. 
and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Max, yeah. there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.